So after 14 years Brendan Cole has been axed from hit BBC One dancing show Strictly Come Dancing. Finally, Brendan was one of the best professional dancers when the show began in 2004, winning that first series with Natasha Kaplinsky, but as the years have moved on, dance has changed, and Brendan, frankly, hasn't. He appeared close to tears as he made his announcement on Tuesday morning, admitting that it had not been his decision to leave, this is quite hard to talk about. The BBC haven't renewed my contract, we get renewed year on year, and they made an editorial decision not to have me back on the show. To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video. It's heartbreaking for anyone to lose a job that they love dearly, and Brandon clearly loves to dance, having dedicated his entire life to it, but despite the petitions and social media outrage, the BBC have made the right decision. Four episodes of Strictly Come Dancing made it into the top 10 most-watched TV programs of 2017. It consistently beat its rival The X Factor each week and that's thanks to the show's winning formula of sparkle, salsa, and family-friendly fun. But despite its popularity, all shows need to stay fresh and even old favorites become boring. Honestly, can you tell me the last time Brendan choreographed an exciting dance when you think back over the past year, two, three years is there a single dance of Brendan's that stands out even other old favorites such as Kevin Clifton, LJ Skorjanek, and Pasha Kovalev are constantly bringing audiences dance routines that make you gasp or applaud as you sit in your pajamas on the sofa on a Saturday night. Along with Brendan, there is only one other person who has been on this show as long, Anton Dubik. But Brendan has never been an Anton. Anton has taken to his role as the professional who inevitably ends up with a bad dancer, embracing his challenge, and continuing to bring fun to the dance floor. Brendan has also been cursed with middling to bad dance partners in recent years but rather than taking it on the chin, he just argues with the judges. Remember when Judge Bruno Tonioli was forced to step in and remind Brendan of his manners when he confronted head judge Shirley Ballas early on in the series in 2017? The moment was not a good look for Brendan, who cared about his partner, Charlotte Hawkins, but also was clearly frustrated with the show. He reportedly had auditioned for the role of head judge when Len Goodman stepped down but had been overlooked for Shirley. He was confrontational. Every other professional was extremely respectful, Shirley later said. But in my industry I'm used to that. He's going on chat shows saying I'm her equal and this, that and the other. I don't need to put somebody else down to build myself up. Strictly Come Dancing has several fresh faces it can bring in that audiences are keen to see more of. Neil Jones, in particular, is already a favorite. After his time on spin-off show It Takes Two, and the likes of O.T. I'm Abuse and Katya Jones are proving to show bosses that unknown names can quickly become popular with fans at home. Just take a look at how Katya handled the truly awful ad balls in 2016 and still got him through to week 10. Strictly come. Dancing will survive without Brendan and Brendan will survive without Strictly in 2018. He returns to UK stages with his live show all night long, a show full of dance, live music, and incredible staging. So pass Brendan a much-deserved tissue for those tears, but let's not go starting petitions to bring him back. More, James Jordan hits out at BBC's decision to axe Brendan Cola from Strictly.